Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today I want to do part 5 to my third Project Redemption attempt to Pokemon Sun for Nintendo 3DS. Now guys, as you remember in the last few episodes, actually a little known fact about this project, well, for y'all, for you guys, it's well known. This project actually was on a two-month hiatus. You guys know that because that when I created part three, after part two, you never saw another video again until two months later. One of the main reasons is why I'm recording so late now. Or one of the main reasons why you didn't see a video for two or three months is the exact reason why I'm recording so late now. Because the person that I call the interrupter for this for these videos actually ends up staying up till way too late. It's 419, you just I think fell asleep like an hour ago. So yeah, and like I'm trying to balance that out because I'm also wanting to get PBR at least a little video of PBR done and maybe if I'm not tired by night maybe I'll even go upstairs and do a Pokemon talk episode. Again, that one ain't promised though, I don't know yet. I want to try to get it done, but I ain't, uh, I ain't going to promise everything I said there is going to be done. Now guys, why did part 3 to my, my let's play this game prior end up getting a lot of attention? Um, which made me really happy, and he gave me the most affection bones out of everybody there. However, the video in part 4, however, he didn't get that much attention. The moment most attention he got was, I think, once in the beginning and then once in the fire trial. Or he got to do the fire trial. So, yeah. And he still gets a little bit more attention because there's still a rock grand trial we all worry about. There's. Um. There's a ground trial, I think, like near the end of the game. And when you get to the Elite Four and all that, they'll they obviously. Have, the rock type user, the rock type person will also be there, so he has a chance to shine. However, again, most of this episode is going to be me focusing on trying to get as much as I can done. Last video, it kind of ended off on a cliffhanger. Where, um, I was meaning to continue searching through the island that we need to search through. And get as much as I possibly can done from there. I'm trying to remember if I, if I rode on the, I think I did, but I was trying to remember if I rode the, on the sea for Lapras. I know in some areas I did, and some of them I didn't. My goal for this episode, if possible, is to get my pull on as much training as I possibly can. We almost got a Typhlosion on our team, only like, like three levels away from it. However, I'm still trying to catch everybody else up as well. That kind of drives me nuts, because again, I want to give Friday a lot of attention. But at the same time, not feel like he's being left out. Why well, is he didn't get that much attention? And he did give me an affection bonus. But I think he could give me a few more if I gave him more time. However, since I'm doing the rule of not letting the porn get too overwhelmed, I can't really do that. Plus, I also want to give Blaze attention as well. So, yeah, this is very hard to figure out what I'm going to do. Very hard of what I'm going to do. I'll tell you this, the first thing we're actually going to start by doing is going back into the Bow Buffet. What I might end up doing is now that I do got Charizard, the Charizard Rock Painter, I may end up flying all the way back to, um, Hollyo City or whatever, and then just doing the Bow Buffet every day. That way a little bit, that way we can get a little bit, that way we can get a little bit stronger. <laughs> and might even help get probably some more attention too. Plus, like I said, it also makes it easier to have to, it, it's easier to do that than it is to sit there and try for a while poke one for like two or, two or three weeks. And honestly, if they gave me that option right after you beat the first trial or the grand trial, you can bet money that would be the first thing we do every video, which is something we're going to be doing starting off now. In the beginning of this episode, I think mainly we're going to focus on the battle buffet, but we will also do other things like... Maybe go back in the sea where cave and see if there's anything important there. Oh, that's kind of really a meh. But I have a bad feeling that it's going to be a waste of time. I'm going to try doing it. I understand, though, that it's going to be wasting a little bit of time. So, yeah. Again, my main goal for this episode is to try to get further attention if possible. 
However, here's the thing: I do also, if he doesn't get attention, he still has the option of getting attention in PBR. So I guess I can't complain about it too much. And I might, I guess I might be doing a PBR video tonight. So if I can't get as much attention here, I'll give it to him in PBR, or at least as much as I can PBR. So yeah, I'm trying to debate whether I should go ahead and I might go ahead and go to see where Kevin see what was in there. However, I don't like wasting my repels, and that's the thing I'm really worried about doing. Oh well, though. My main goal for this episode is, again, just to have a lot of my Pokemon friends. We're going to do the Bad Buffet, we're going to explore Seaward Cave, and then we'll continue on past Route 7. Um, so yeah, we'll talk to that one way that's that's next that cat in Barricade. I think also in this video we might even be able to get my Pikachu to evolve into a low and right shoe because of a, a long route eight is I believe what the Thunderstone is in the game. So when we're too much younger, it might even happen this episode, I'll have an low and right shoe. And if I get enough training in, maybe I'll even have a Typhlosion. That would be awesome. So yeah. I honestly don't know what to tell you guys. I'm a little bit nervous again, I wanna give Fire a lot of attention. It's really hard to do though. Whenever you consider he's probably one of my high, he's one of my higher level Pokemon, and like I said, it doesn't take as much to get him up to his next level. So it's like hard to give him attention while ignoring somebody else first. I know Teddy Ruff have been given two K much attention, but honestly, I've, I remember my team. He's one of my he's my least favorite one. I love for all year especially Typhlosion second, and after that it's probably Shell gone. Well, Salamence once he evolves into that. And then Pikachu and Toucan's obviously last. I like Toucan, don't get me wrong, but that's definitely an favorite Pokemon of all time. Also, if my point do any effect, and I will go and give it to them right now before I actually get into the game. I'm hoping I don't remember where I started back at. I hope it's near the Battle Buffet. I made sure where the crap am I? Please tell me I'm in the town. Good. That makes things a lot easier. Let's try pulling the one fetching first. Hey, two cannon. Good morning, bud. Or good afternoon, I guess in this case, since again, it's kind of late. Okay, Pikachu wants a lot of attention, and everybody else wants a little bit, but not too much. Alright. Pikachu, I'll go, I'll go ahead and pay everybody before we get started. Hey, Pikachu. Again, guys, I know you can't see me petting them, but I don't want to get my Pokemon hurt by doing that. Pikachu's one of them harder ones to pet because he, he only likes it in that one specific area. Hopefully, we'll be close enough. Hopefully, I can give Fryer a lot of attention today. I'm not just talking about Pokemon and me. I want to give him attention in battle. I love petting Fryer because of that big grin on his face, but at the same time, I want to give him attention in battle. And if I can, give him more time to give me some affection bonuses. Because honestly, if Fryer gets me a lot of effect today, that would make me feel very good. It probably, it probably put me in a really good mood. So yeah. Pichu is way harder to pet. Because he expects you... For those that don't know, Pichu expects you to pet him between his two hands. He stands up, but puts his two hands around a, a little bit below his heart, or I guess where his heart would be. And he expects you to pet like around that area, like a little bit above his hands. It's a little bit of a pain in the neck. And the problem is, if you go too far where his head is, he won't like it either. Like I said, Pichu's one of them harder ones to pet, and that's the one that I'm definitely going to Well, here's the thing a low and right shoes is the same way too. He expects you to pet him around where his stomach is, which is kind of a pain in the neck. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Oh, I, well, I think Pikachu's almost done. I think one more should do it. I saw only two hearts appear above his head. And that thing should be a music note, but I'm gonna make sure. Yep, music note. And Pikachu, you're also hungry. So here you go. You deserve, a, you deserve some of those, buddy, because you did really good last video, especially at the end, whenever you give me all the affection bonuses. Yep. Let's give you one more. Thank 
There you go, Pikachu. Who wants attention now? Quillava? Quillava wants barely any, but he wants a little bit. Oh, Quillava's asleep too. Look at that, guys. Quillava's asleep too. Hey, Quillava. Quillava's also another one of the pollen that's hard to pet because he expects you to do it right where his nose is. Like a little bit above his nose, and that's it. Pet anywhere below or above that, he'll get mad. Friar's one of the easier ones to pet because he likes to be pet pretty much anywhere on the stomach. Basically, the rule for Friar is if you don't want to make him mad, just don't pet him on the face. He loves his stomach and he loves his arms being petted, but do not pet him on his face. I don't think he likes that. That's basically the only rule for Friar, and that's why he's one of the easier ones I have to pet. Plus, one of the happier ones, too. I think all Pwn enjoy being petted, but I think Friar's one that, like, has some of the happiest reactions to it, especially whenever that grin shows up on his face with your pet name. Oh my gosh, that grin makes me so giddy. Hey, Shellgon. Wakey, wakey. Let's pet you a little bit. How does that sound? He scared me. I thought I accidentally hurt him. Like I said, not many of my want that much attention. It was mainly just Pikachu. Yeah, now the only thing Shogun wants is more food. I gave him a little bit of petting. I am weirded out how this thing can actually eat because this thing does not have a mouth. It has eyes. How the fruit does it eat with only eyes? Hey, for alligator. Speaking of eyes, I spy with my little eye. My favorite Pokemon this entire team. Hey there, darling. Oh my gosh, I love this for alligator. Hey, buddy. Here you go. Let's pet you. You deserve some petting. I flippin' love this for alligator. He's my best friend. I love all the Pokemon here, but Froggy and Quilava are my two most favorite ones. Froggy number one, Quilava number two. As in my top favorite team, or top favorite Pokemon on this team. Kind of like in PBR, because in PBR it's basically the same thing. Froggy is number one on my list, and Lugia is number two. I love all the other Pokemon on my team too. It's just that I have a really good connection with them two in particular. Kind of like I do, I mean, yeah, I've never used Quilava, but this is why I'm still kind of growing an attachment to him as well. Because this will be the first time I'll get to use Typhlosion. Here's the thing, if I actually want to do a fourth project on this game, I really could do that. There you go for Alligator. Here you go, you hungry, darling? There you go, bud. Do you want another one? You want one more? Oh. He wants another one. There you go, darling. You deserve that pet. I love you. Toucan doesn't want much either, but I'm going to give him what he wants. Toucan, I'm sorry for waking you up again. I kind of got hurry this up, guys, so I do want to give... I want to give enough time to where Friar will get some attention. I love Friar and I want him to have a lot of attention today. I want all want to have attention, but I especially want to give Friar more time. Because last time Friar didn't get much time at all to shine, and that makes me feel horrible. Especially since he did give me an affection bonus yesterday, but I think if he had more time, he could have done it again. I'm just happy to see him looking back at me in this game, honestly. Because I love Friar Alligator. I'm glad to see him being really affectionate towards me. Okay, I don't think he wants no more. I think that's it. It is. Alright. Alright, guys. Now we've gotten through that. Let's go battle at the battle buffet. Before I have to do, let me go ahead and make sure and see what level my pull one are and how close they are. Pikachu's at level 32. Um, everybody is a set 4 for alligator and... Typhlot, a Froyer, and Quilava. Let's see how far away they each of them are. Pikachu's only 541. He's really close. I mean, Shogun ain't too far away either. A thousand. Froyer, you're... Okay. Toucan's the furthest one away. I guess it kind of makes sense, though, because I haven't been giving him much attention. I want to give Friar a lot of attention. It's just make. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter as long. I mean, 
I guess yeah, it's alright, it doesn't even matter who I choose, it's just that I don't want anybody falling behind. But at the same time, I don't, I don't want to ignore all my other Pokemon either, you know? And if I used Frogger and Koala only, that would be kind of fun. But then everybody else would follow, fall behind, follow behind, fall behind. I don't remember where the restaurant is. I think it's that building I just passed. That's a clothes shop. Yeah, I think it is up there. I might have to end up breaking my own rule. Let's think about it this way. Ah, uh, I don't know. Should I give Frogger attention? I need to give everybody else attention too, though. Frog didn't get much last time. Frog, I'm gonna try to give you attention today, bud. I don't want to do it now, though. All right, let's go inside here and battle. Hello, and welcome to the battle buffet. How can I help you today? I'd like to dine here, please. That'll be 1,200 Poké Dollars, please. Will you be dining with us? Yes, ma'am. Very well, then. Allow me to show you to your seat. The Battle Buffet starts now. Meal time lasts for 10 turns. Get as many delicious dishes as you can within the allotted time. I'm being dumb, I know. Where's the freaking staircase get out down there? Oh my gosh, I'm stressing myself out in a bunch of ways right now. Oh, there they are. Wow, that was hidden. And here's the thing. I don't know where to give for our attention or not. I want to, but I don't want to pass everybody else up either. Crap, Trenton, think. Do you want to give... Let's go in and see what happens. Not yet. It's not quite time yet. Ah, do I? I'm so scared. Do I want to give Frogger attention or not? I do want to give him attention, but I don't want to have everybody fall behind. Uh. Frogger, yeah, I'm going to give you attention. He didn't get much attention last night. I'm starting not to care whether they're a little bit behind. They're only a level behind, so don't I don't give a care. Friar, don't worry about it, buddy. If I want to use you or Quilava cool most today, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna truck I'm not I'm not gonna I don't wanna ignore you. Come on, Friar, let's kick some trainer butt. There's still plenty of food. Would you care for some delicious well pool sushi? I'll have some. All right, dude, it's time to fight my Feraligator. Your food is my food now, and I'm about to devour my food. I am challenged by Sightseer George. Hello, George, what do you got? Grimer. Regular Grimer. Grimer. Let's go for alligator. We don't have any growings, do we? No, we don't. That's fine. Friar seems crazy about my fashion. For alligator. Since this ain't a top advantage, let's try something different. Instead of using your regular water move, use Hydro Vortex instead. I'm not risking it. I don't want Friar getting poisoned. Although in this case, I could just take care of him. 
I'm not so used to that. Alright, it's fine. Rather just use Hydro Vortex on this ugly Grimer. And this thing should be down and out in one hit. The red corner is knocked out after one hit! That's a tough start for them. Good job, Rowler. Great start, baby. You did good. My stomach is infinite. That's irrelevant to the strength of my Pokemon. Good job, Rowler. That was an amazing start, buddy. I just didn't want to risk you getting poisoned. Alright, baby. You got three pieces of Whirlpool Sushi. Nine turns left. Alright, Rowler. That was a great start, baby. Let's keep up the good work. There's hardly, there's hardly any food left now. Would you care for a delicious vanilla-like perfect? Sure, I don't know what that is, but I'll have some anyway. Hello, lady. Bow my for alligator. Hey! If you can beat me, do you want me to feed you? No, I don't. Ain't this the, yeah, that's the way we faced yesterday, or whatever. Beauty Carlin. What do you even got? I forgot what it was. Oh. Well, Frower's gonna devour that thing in one hit. That thing is dead. All we gotta do is use a simple Metal Claw. Try using Metal Claw for Alligator. It's dead already. Good job, Frower. Good hit. Yeah, what? You just got beaten one hit. That's what? As you'd say. I got one vanilla perfect. I don't know what that is. Never heard of half of these foods. Speaking of food, there's still tons of food here. We've got some leftover tomato pasta. You want any? Heck yeah, I'll have some. That just sounds kind of good. Whether you get to eat or not, it's one thousand two hundred pokey dollars. If that's the case, I've got no choice but to eat. I am challenged by Last Sour. Never heard of that name. Cool. And that's scary. That's a flipping uh grass type. I might want to get Frowder out of here. Or should I try it with Ice Fang? It's only level 13. Frowder, try using Ice Fang if you can, bud. This is where I get terrified. Frowder one-shots it anyway. Good job, Frowder. Win or lose, it's the same price. 1200 to eat here. That's expensive. I got four plates of tomato pasta. Seven turns left. Let's keep on fighting. There's a preschooler in here. The law of the jungle is the only rule here at the battle buffet. Alright, I'm probably going to bow this person. Well, Frower's about to knock you out in one hit. We've got some leftover egg and chili sauce. You want any? Sure, I just want to bow as many people as I can. Hey! Stop that! That's mine! I told you it was the law of the jungle! Mm -hmm. I am challenged by preschooler Hannah. Why is there preschoolers inside this restaurant? Why do the preschoolers have Pokemon? Why do you have a Drift Balloon? Alright, Friar, we can... Cr we can crunch this thing to death. This thing will be dead after one hit. And Frogger's out to relax. Side of me may have made it feel more secure. Nate, I love hearing that kind of text. It's crunch time. Slammed him. Good hit, buddy. Aftermath. I forgot about that. Good job, buddy. Took it out. I have a potion, right? A saying, I guess. Three plates of egg and chili sauce. Six turns left. 
Hold on, Friar, before you continue fighting, let's, um, let's heal you up with these 13 potions. There you go, now he's all healed up. Can, do I have to? I think I have to go bow from these plates. Oh! There's new people over here. There's plenty, still plenty of food. What's over here anyway? Would you care for some delicious Hoenn Raymond? Uh. Sure. Okay. This dish will be indispensable if I want to get my money's worth. I am challenged by Rising Star. How do you say that flipper name? <laughs> hey, Bagon, I got a pun for you. Frick. It actually involves his name, too. Friars will get me when Tensin and Termin dies. Use eyes, fun if you can, bud. Slam him. Good hit, buddy. See, he's one shot and everything. I really like that. Wh what? My calculations were off. Good job, Friar. You're one shot and everything in sight. Although, I'd really like to get an affection bonus at least once. I really love the affection bonuses. There's a cook here. There's still tons of food. We've got some leftover Rindo salad. You want any? Yes, sir. I want to bow more people. <laughs> Looks tasty, doesn't it? That's because I made it all. I take the responsibility of tasting everything very seriously. I am challenged by Cook Carver. Hey, Carver. What are you gonna have? That's what you're gonna have. Alright, Friar, let's get rid of this piece of snot. As Cloud Nine, that does nothing for us. Friar, just crunch it the best you can. It's crunch time! <laughs> that went down fast, that went a crit, was it? Dang, that went down fast. Good job, for Alligator. Ugh, the humiliation. Well, eat heartily at least. Good job, Rao. You're one shot and everything in sight, baby. We got four in those salads, and we still got four turns. There's still plenty of food. What is this? Would you care for a delicious vanilla parfait? Sure, I'll have more of it. What do you think you're doing to my food? I saw it first. You think I'm gonna just let you take it? I am challenged by Sightseer Amy. Alright, Amy, what are you gonna do? You screwed up, my friend. For alligator, it's go time. Let's knock this thing out. For alligator, just you scald the best you can, baby. Hit it. Booyah. Amazing hit, sweetheart. A brewing attack right from the start. Good job for alligator. I when I lose, I get disheartened and then I get hungry again. Ooh. Okay. Thank you for saying that like that. Three vanilla pockets. There's hardly any food left now. This is our super popular, super popular Chansey Omelet. First come, first served. I'll have some. Let's try it. After consulting with my stomach, it seems that we're fighting to battle. I am challenged 
by Ace Trainer Tori. Let's do this for out here. Good luck to you, sweetheart. Come on, my baby boy. Let's knock out this Growlithe. Luckily, Skull is a special attack, so that's gonna do nothing but just intimidate. It does nothing. Alright, for alligator. For hours, it's about to come up with a great strategy. Well, I got your back for that, buddy. You scald. Scald its face. Booyah. Way to go, sweetheart. Great hit. Great hit, baby. Great hit. My stomach is crying and saying, urgent. Good job, for hours. Owning everything in sight, bud. You got one chancy omelet. Two turns left. We've got some left of a tomato pasta. I'll have some. Hey! If you can beat me, do you want me to feed you? I just. I am challenged by Beauty Carlin again. Yeah, you're screwed up, lady. For alligator, it's crunch time, darling. Quite literally and also quite not so literal. For alligator, this way come on a great strategy again. Just use Metal Claw, baby. Hit it as hard as you can. Big hit. Good job, for alligator. Good job, bud. You won. What? I still love that reaction. We got like one turn left. Yep. Okay, so let's battle somebody different. Let's go over here and battle one of these two. Let's battle this guy. There's still a mountain of food. We've got some left leftover egg it and chili sauce. You want any? I'll have some. Let's do this. You have to fight if you want to eat. In other words, welcome to the battle buffet. I am challenged by Black Belt Walter. Hey, Makahita. Let's go, for alligator. Be careful, bud. I don't want you getting hurt. I have an idea. To make sure you don't get hurt, Fryer's is probably come with a great strategy. I have a great strategy for you, buddy. Use the Z power. Let's do this. I love Fryer so much. For alligator, use Hydro Vortex. Yep, this thing should be dead or close to dead. Yeah, Friar didn't care. He just got rid of it. Way to go, for alligator. What a shame. The delicious looking food will all be nourishment just for you. Shut up. There we, we got five points of and choice. That's Ty. Feel free to... Yep. We got this. You scarfed down the Whirlpool Sushi. Inhaled the Vanilla like Poffret. Got up tomato, po tomato pasta. Feasted upon the egg and chili sauce. And sucked down the Hoenn Raymond. And gorged on Rindo salad. Oh my gosh. There we go. Did you get enough to eat at the bow buffet? I like how I can do this every single day. You look pleasantly full to me. Please accept this present from our shop. HP up. Thank you very much. Please do come again. We'll be waiting for you. Great job in there, buddy. 
I really like having a fetching bonus though. Like now I feel bad because I'm not getting a lot of more attention, but Fred didn't get no attention at all hardly yesterday. So I think he deserves a little bit of shining time, you know? Hmm. I'm trying to remember where the... It's after a Lewis trial, I think. Yeah, it's in the Melly Melly. Oh, freak. See, now I don't know what to do. Do I want to give... Don't worry about Fryer, what's gonna come out and try to battle us? Oh my god, Makohita, you can go burn fire for all I care. Come on, Feralier, let's knock this thing out. Fryer's the last I've been for most of here. You scald, baby. Hit it as hard as you can. Booyah! Good hit, Feralier. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. I don't care what it was. Wild. Thank you for thank you for that. That's what I wanted, buddy. Thank you, sweetheart. I love you. I love Roger with all my heart. He brings a smile to my face every single time. He brings a big old smile to my face. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel good to see him. Thank you for that, for alligator. I'm sorry to give you much attention last time. All right, Friar, I'm going. We're going to go inside of a cave. How does that sound? We're actually going to go inside the same cave I found you in. And it's going to be like, whoa, this is where you got me, or something like that. Well, actually, probably not like that. Move out of my way, <gasps> frick, son of a balls. Take gun it! Spiro, I don't care about you. You can go suffer in fire somewhere. Leave me alone. Shut up, you freaking stove! So, you guys, even whenever that little arrow does asleep, me and Fryer being purposely with one another, just run, bud. We're not wasting time here. I just got your stuff back, and you got a rest, which is something that makes me feel good that you got. And now, when you get past all these dumb birds, move. No, I don't want to run into a bird. I said I don't want to run into a bird. What is it this time? Ruff, what does it... You know what? You want to be annoying? <laughs> rough wit, you're about to have a rough wit time with what you're about to do. What you're about to get. Just knock out with a nice ice fang. That should work out. Goodbye, you stupid bird. Good job, Ryder. You knocked it out. We get for being a pain in the neck. Don't me don't let me run to another bird. Okay, run, 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 run. Yes. Now where's the meadow? Aha, found it. I wonder how long I'm gonna run to this. I bought four hundred and eighty-two thousand nine hundred and forty-three. Whoop! Where's my where's my repels? I need them. Where the crap are my repels? I don't want to deal with any Pokemon. Where are my repels? I need my repels. My repels are gone. I better have repels. I know I've got some. Where the snot are they? There they are. 17. Good. Doesn't keep any wild pulling away. Alright, so let's go explore the cave where I found you. The Seaward Cave. See if there's anything important in any of these areas. Aha! Sacra Bleu! Already. Heal Ball. And there's some water. Well, you know, that's our job to go surf. Now that we got the option to do so.
a match revival of what's over here. Yes, but I'll use another one. I hate running into so many wild Pokemon because it's a pain in the neck. I'm gonna use up all of my repels in here. I, mean, I don't know if that was even worth it because it just took us, I think, over here again. Find a super potion over here. Can I ask the repel stop wearing off? I probably used up like four of them already. Hey, so make a power up for our ice moves. Never melt ice. Cool, found that down here. An expert belt. Okay, I get it. Can we stop using up some of the repels? Up oh, there we go. Found a star piece over here. Found anything important over here. Oh frick, 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 get back to the area already. I'm not using up another one. I'm gonna regret that, ain't I? Yep, new us gonna regret it. What's even gonna come out here? Well, I would say no this is a wall point I don't care about it, but since it wants to annoy me, well, you get to meet you get to meet your death. Scald it. We get for being a pain in the neck, Diglett. Good job, bro. You H2 owned it. Quite literally, in fact. Now I see what's out outside this Dagum cave. <coughs> Got that. And then if we go, is there anything over here? Yep. We found a... Oh. A netball. And then if we go out here, I don't want to fish. I am mean to fish, but okay, what do I catch? Magic card. It is a magic card. Oh my gosh, what a waste of what a waste of time. Just run for our don't worry about it. It's dumb anyway. You're an awesome Pokemon, I don't want you to deal with that ugly piece of snot. It ain't even worth your time. I don't want to fish there. I want to surf. Don't catch anything, thank God. Dive ball. And a big pearl. I feel bad for not even all pulling attention, but I'm trying to debate how that's gonna work. I want you to throw a lot of attention, but it's not fucking giving him. I don't know. TMO5 for roar. Or the TM out here, but it's not a good TM. I'm trying to see if there's any pawn. I mean, any. I don't know if there's, any, don't know if there's anybody that could fight out here. But in its own right, that's fine. For alligator. 
Let's, well, let's go and get out of here. Charizard, that's all we can explore here, so let's just go back. Let's go back to Route 7. Thank you, Charizard. I'm trying to be on what to do, so I guess I want to give for her attention, but it's going to be like... Hello, lady. Let's go and see what she wants to do. That's Firium Z! Congratulations on clearing Kawaii's trial. In that case... Here you go! You're free to pass. Captain Malice trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush Jungle. Ooh. The next trial site should be past Route 8 and it's Salty Breeze. It's perfect for resting my parts. Ooh. It's it kind of funny how he agreed with that. See, I want to give her attention, but I need to give everybody up to level 33. Let's go ahead and keep them all the same. Well, I just want to give her attention so bad. I'm glad you need an affection bonus, though. That puts me in a better mood. Don't worry, for our if we get everybody else to level 33, I'll use you again, I promise. What's that? You want to battle me even when I'm using my full force? Fine. Then beat every other trainer on Route 8 and we can talk. Ooh. Okay. Route 8. See the sea and know the joy or no true joy or whatever the frick you say. Ooh. Do you use Pokemon Refresh? Yep. There's Pokebeans that you can give your Pokemon and Pokemon Refresh can actually be collected in Pokepelago. Did you know that? Yes, I did. I feel bad because I feel like I'm not even for our attention again. I mean, I'm glad he gave me a fetching bonus, but I wish I was on a, on a regular battle, not a wild one. But hey, I am not complaining, though. At least he gave me one. Maybe if I have time, I'll, I'm going to try to give him a little bit more attention than I did last time, though. Last time I was trying to get everybody else caught up. Why, well, hello, trainer. Looks like you've got a Pokedex on you. How would you like to do a little part-time work on behalf of the Aether Foundation? Sure. We at the Aether Foundation work to protect Pokemon through conservation. In order to protect Pokemon, though, we must know a good deal about them and how they live. Right now, we are surveying the Stuffle that live on Route 8. The Foundation is collecting its own data, of course, but we would also like to know what data the Pokedex records about them. So your job, if you should choose to accept it, would be to register the stuff on Route 8 in your Pokedex and then show us the data. We will pay you for the work, of course. I hope you help us out. We are members of the Aether Foundation. We work to carry out conservation efforts and care for Pokemon that have been hurt by bad people, like those Team Skull Thugs. Slowpoke's tail is fully regrown now. The Pokemon should be like family. Team Skull can't get away with crimes like this. Those Team Skull scoundrels. Even if Slowpoke's tails are delicious, you can't go ripping them off like they are yours to take. I already feel bad because I feel like I'm not giving Frower attention again. I told you guys my my love for Frower is really high. Oh wait, you there. I completely forgot about this part. Hello, Colrus. Oh, excuse me. I am a scientist. My name is Colrus. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What brings out the power of Pokemon is, I believe that is, the bond that they share with the trainers. 
and thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bond to the Pokemon through the power of the Z-Ring. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Triton, sir. Triton, is it? I remember your name. To commemorate our encounter, let me give you a TM. Well, thank you for Flame Charge, dude. If you're able to utilize Flame Charge fully, you'll be able to have a great battle with the Totem in the next trial. The Trial in Lush Jungle. Z Power. Is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently, there are uninhabited islands for Pokemon called Pokepelago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Triton. I hope to see you again sometime. Time for your third trial on a Kawa Island. They left the West Jungle. It sounds so lecherous. Ooh. Why does everybody have to go ooh in this game, apparently? Ah, oh, Friday, I want to give you attention. That's driving me nuts again. Oh, that ain't what I was going to do. I was going to get the flame charge to him. I know. I want to see which one's better for Twilight because if it really, if I really think that it'll be two can can learn flipping flame charge. You know what? I may end up teaching him it because I need something anyway. And power is sixty. Oh wow! Never mind. It's worse. Dang it! You know what? I can still teach it to um two cannon. You know, I'll just forget work up and keep roost. Frower, I promise I'll give you attention, but I'm gonna try our best to. I'll make you a deal. How about if you don't get much affection or much attention in the next few videos? How about whatever I do? Uh, how about whatever I do will be focused more on you at the end of the game? Like I'm probably gonna do a, even if my point at level 100. If I didn't get much attention, I may end up doing giving him a few times to shine during the Elite Four and all that. So yeah. I'm sure there's nothing over under here. Oh, a pitcher spot. Let's actually look for a stuffle. I'll tell you, I'll give it a few tries. If I can't find a stuffle, I'm not gonna look forever. There's Trumby here. Interesting. All right, Pikachu. Let's go, bud. I love all my team, but Briar is my number one fan. My number one Pokemon, I mean. I want to see if there's a Stuffle. I'm not going to stay here forever and do it, guys, but the money I can get would really help me, especially if I decide to do the Bow Buffet a lot more. Especially every day. If I start doing that every day, then... Yeah, definitely need something like that. What's good is at least Friars give me at least one affection moss every single. As about, let me say that again. At least Friars give me one affection moss every single time he's in the game. You notice that he's already got me an affection bonus this time. He gave me one the last time in the last video, and he gave me three the video before that. Um, I'm going to try throwing a ball at its face. Do I have any good balls? Sure I do. I'm going to throw a nest ball at its face. I demand you get inside this nest ball stuff. Well, I need to catch you so I can give it, give you to somebody so I can get money. I need money. I need moolah. Come on, Snuffle. I just called him Snuffle. Not Stuffle. Snuffle. You know what? You're mine, you little piece of crap. We caught him. 151! And you're doing 33, okay. So we will get a chance to use Friar in this episode if that's how much you love experience we're going to be gaining from everybody. Let's read the stuff with day. I don't really like stuff with that much, but let's read what it says about him. Don't worry, Friar, you'll get a chance to have attention today, bud. 
Stuffle, the flailing Pokemon. Despite its adorable appearance, when it gets angry and flails about, its arms and legs could knock a pro wrestler sprawling. Okay, so rule of law number 432. Don't tick off a Stuffle, because he will probably end up knocking you out for good. That sounds like the Dagum Olivia show I used to watch. There used to be a show as a kid that I used to watch called Olivia. And they always be these things where she'd be like, Rule of life number blah blah blah. And then she'd give like a little lesson or whatever. Hello lady, I, need, I got the stuffle for you. You've caught a stuffle? Oh my gosh. You are very smart. You're a very smart young man. Would you show me your Pokedex, please? I see. The biology of the Stuffle is one that we hadn't yet uncovered in our own research. This is just the level of detail that I knew we could expect from the Pokedex. Thank you very much. Here is your pay. Five thousand dollars. Thank you, lady. Thank you for helping us with our research. I think we'll have an even better understanding of Stuffle thanks to this. Please tell me you took it out of my party because I don't care about this little... Stuffle, I don't care about you. I honestly don't. When I find a when I find a PC, I'm putting this thing up for good. I don't like Stuffle anyway. There's where I am. I was kind of wondering where you could get the item from. The big pearl. That reminds me while I'm still here, I gotta change my Pokemon. Here, Glider. You get to have some attention now. You're level 32. Oh, that's gonna every single time that happens. I gotta be on the lookout here because I know I can also find the Thunderstone to evolve Pikachu into an Alolan Raichu. Ooh. Okay, now I went. Ooh. I was talking about them being creepy, and yet now I'm doing it too. Lady, I'm gonna fight you. Come here. Fight me. I was losing constantly. So I'm on a trip to find myself. I am challenged by Backpacker Kana. You got an Eevee. Let's go, Glider. Hey, bud. Let's destroy these snots. Glider, use Brick Break. That wouldn't even crit, that just went down that quick. Good job, Glider. I think about why I lost, but I don't dwell on it. Tomorrow is a new day. Hello, sir. Attacking from a high place to a low place is as easy as chopping down bamboo. I am challenged by Rising Star Mikey. Pretty cool name, I like that. Bond Sweet. You know what's about to be Bond Sweet? Glider, we're about to roast this plant. What do you say to that? Glider, use Ember. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Glider. And you also have a Trumbeak. Ooh, I have an idea for that. 
Trumbeak, you were so screwed. Glider, use Dragon Claw. Ripped by Dragon Claw. It's down already. Good job, Glider. I guess I was able to make full use of the potential energy from being in a high place. Yeah, I think we'll definitely be able to get Friar attention. It's just driving me nuts because I want to get Friar as much attention as possible. I love Fur Alligator. You guys know how much I love him. I love him as much as I love that Hyper Potion, which means a lot. Oh, son of a ball sacks. What comes up to me now? With, is that a female? Actually, it wouldn't matter anyway. Why would I want to get rid of Glider? I mean, freaking, uh, what's his name? It's a male anyway. No. Only female with those Pokemon can I to evolve. We found a miracle, so you don't have any grass move. Well, actually... I wonder if he does, um, Toucan have none. I know Toucan, I think, usually can learn Bullet Seed, but he hasn't learned it yet, or I may have forget it. Trainer Tips. Pawn moves are divided into two categories, physical moves and special moves. A pawn's physical moves will do greater damage if the Pokemon has a high attack stat, while a high special attack stat makes the Pokemon's special moves stronger. Hello. The ability No God ensures that all attacks will hit. Yeah, even against Pokemon using Fly. Ooh. Seriously, can y'all stop? Ah! I'm like, seriously, can you all stop going? Ooh. I was about, that's what I was about to say before I got scared. Speaking of scared, for Brawler, give me these berries. You're already a stupid crap. I don't like you. I told you, Crib Brawler, I hate you, you're ugly, and you deserve to suffer in fire. Glider, just use Dragon Claw to take this thing out. Good job. That should have gotten to level 33. 151. Level 33. Mm -hmm. Level 33 we are. For some reason, I can do a really good Yoda. Mm. But anything else, I can't do. I can't do his voice. His actual other voice. Anyway, we got Petcha Berries. Persian Berries. And a Citrus Berry. Hey, Citrus Berry ain't too bad. Hello, lady. I demand a battle with you right now, punk. Trainer detected. I will now commence the attack. I am challenged by Rising Star Nikki. I was known as Robot Nikki. Who has a mill tank. Alright, mill tank. Glider. Let's knock it out. Oh, frick, I forgot you were at level 33. Glider's made me come up with a great strategy. Glider, use Brick Break. After this bite, oh, frick. Well, actually, that's not bad. Just Brick Break its face right off its body. Slammed him. Amazing hit. A brewing attack right from the start. Stuffle group. Screw you, Stuffle. No! I'm not teaching you anything. You suck. An honorable defeat. I lost, but it was invulgarating. Malfunctioning, malfunctioning. What the frick? <laughs> malfunctioning, malfunctioning. Air cannot load. Nikki 2.0. Air, 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 air. Okay, um. Rebooting, rebooting, rebooting. Watch Nikki 2.0 speech. I had climbed to a high place. I was hoping for a way to get down. 
So, my thanks to you. That was the weirdest robot I've ever heard. That was plain weird. Weird. I found an Ultra Ball. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. There's like one or two more trains, I think, around here. Yep. Hello, scientist dude! Research! Research, research, research! I shall research the Pokemon! I am challenged by Scientist Tyrone. Arkin. Hey, Arkin. Let's go, Glider. Glider, you're already level 33. I meant to switch you out. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Alright, come back to me, Glider. Come back to me. Let's go, Two Cannon. Oh, that is so scary. It's a scary face. Oh god, I'm so scared. Two cannon, use flame charge. <laughs> well, great job, two cannon. And it ain't dead. Okay, well, thank you, two cannon. Thank you so much. Use brick brick to finish it off. Brick break it! Booyah! It's down already. Shield it on. I'm gonna keep going. Alright, Toucan, use Beat Blast. Two cannon, beat blast it! Wow. Okay, yeah, that, that's the problem. You know what? I still have a solution to that. Use brick break instead. I was going to do a little bit more. Yep, there we go. Well, it's done. Good job, two cannon. I present the results of my research. This person's Pokemon strong. A further research topic is how to defeat strong Pokemon. 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 Hello. There's this dude near here who says that he wants to make a whole theme park. Full of nothing but Pokemon restored from fossils. That reminds me, we'll go and put Toucan up front right now. We can get him up to level 33. He's so close to it. And after that, we can use for Alligator without repercussions or without having him be too far ahead. Fossil Restoration Center. Let's make a fossil filled wonderland. Welcome to the Dream Pot. Where dreams become reality and fossils become Pokemon. Someday this whole place is going to be filled with a burst and with Pokemon from the ancient past. That's my dream for this. The dream park. To bring the ancient world back to life. Guys. Look, you know what's back here? We found us a Thunderstone. And you know what that means. We're going to have an Alolan... Freaking Raichu. Where the crap is? It's down here. Alright, guys. We have the Thunderstone. Let's evolve in let's evolve our Pikachu into an Alolan Raichu. Let's do it. What? Pikachu is evolving. Da 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 We're going to have a flipping right to ooh 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 Boom 
da, 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 da. Congratulations. Your Sparky evolved into an Alolan Raichu. And now he learns like psychic or something around here, which is sweet. So, I also love that position on the thing. We got us a Pikachu. Evolve into a low and Raichu. Hot diggity. Look at you. You're on fire, partner. You filled in all the Pokemon on a single page. It's like we're playing bingo over here. Alolan Raichu, the mouse Pokemon, it only evolves to this form in the Aloha region. According to researchers, its diet is one of the causes of this change. Are you going to learn Psychic? Please learn Psychic. Oh heck yeah. Oh heck to the flipping yeah. You are definitely learning this. Goodbye, Thunder Wave. You're a piece of crap and no one likes you. There you go, Lowen Raichu. Now you're way better. You have Psychic. I'm a Psychic. Good. There we go, guys. We got a Lowen Raichu on our team now. Did I... Did I put, um... Yeah, two cans up front. Good. I think there's like one or two more trainers we can face coming up, so I'm gonna go ahead and bow them, and then we'll see, we'll see what goes on. Don't worry, Ferrari, you'll get a little bit of attention today, but I'm sorry I haven't been giving you much. I promise I'll give it to you more once we get two count up there. Hello, sir. Who do you think would win in a matchup between the Master Royale and Crash or Awake? Hello, sir. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. The time on the is now 17 o'clock. Here at Cafe Space, we provide a moment of peace to, occur to our customers. What can I get star food today? I would like to have some tofu, tofu cocoa, please. Thank you, sir. Got it. You'll just give me a moment. There you are. One tofu cocoa just for you. Drinking tofu cocoa improves your circulation, allowing you to feel more relaxed. Mixing in a little salt is also quite nice. By the way, are you using Pokemon Refresh? When I catch new Pokemon, I make sure to take really good care of them. It bothers me when they get dirty in battles. I spend all my downtime taking care of them. You're limited to one per day. Buy a tea biscuit on us. These cookies are a specialty from Lava Ridge Town in the Hoenn region. Lava cookie. Ooh. And that was creepy as freak. We'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. Yeah, thank you for the pokey beans. Thank you, sir. Hello, ma'am. Naturally, there are lots of grass type Pokemon in this jungle. Do you know the type strong against grass? Fire, flying. Fire, flying, and bug. To name a few. Hello, Nurse Joy. Heal my Pokemon, please. They all deserve a nice rest. Uno, Doze, Dress, Quattro, Cinco. Stuffle, you're- Oh, I, I'm glad I actually did that, because I forgot Stuffle was even in my party. Yeah, thank you for actually reminding me, Nurse Joy. I'm going to put this piece of crap stuff into the PC box where it'll rot. Because I don't care about the little piece of crap anyway. I care about you too, Cannon. I really care about you, Quilava. I flippin' really care about you, for Alligator. I care about you, Raichu. And I care about you, Shellgon. However, Stuffle can go away and leave me alone and never show up in my house again. Move. Get out of my face. Here, get stuffed into the PC bots. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. I do not like the little piece of crap. Do you know about Pokepelago? It's really fun if you deposit lots of Pokemon into your PC. There are all kinds of islands to develop. And you can get lots of Poke Beans too. There's this Pokemon called Comfy that you can find in Lush Jungle that can. Well, 
If you clear Marla's trial, you should spend some time searching for Pokemon in the jungle. Okay, I think something's wrong with that dude. Mm-hmm. You can write Charizard, can't you? Then I'll give you a good tip. Open up your X menu with X. Then press R and press right to find the Pokepelgo icon. You should give it a tap. Well, I've already done it. And that's why I got so many beans for my Pokemon to eat. Now they won't starve, which makes me feel a lot better. Lush Jungle is way down there, but I'm gonna battle the trainers I need to battle real quick. Actually, I think I can go ahead and get through that. There was some train balls I missed that was around Lana's trial. I could probably go ahead and do this before I even take her on. I might do that, actually, because like I said, I want to get through as much as I possibly can. I'm afraid we've got no vacancies today. Especially not with that room two doors down being rented out non-stop all this time. The boy staying there paid up two years worth of nights when he first got here. Though he's not so free with cash now as he used to be. Seems like Team Skull doesn't pay well enough to live off of. He's a terrible guard, Pokemon! My Snubble is still super cute! You mean this one? She said two doors down. Hey, Guardian. How you doing? How you feeling? Get out. All right. Hey, Guardian. Hey, Guardian, how you doing? I said, get the frick out. Okay, I'm leaving. Hey, Guardian, what do you want me to do now? Get out. Out! Okay, he's starting to get mad at me. Ah! Uh. Hey, Guardian. I swear to frick, if you talk to me one more time and don't get the frick out of my house, I'm gonna get Officer Jenny and her crew down here, and I'm gonna get them to arrest you! This sounds like the old man from Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. The one that threatened us. I swear, if you don't leave me alone, I'm going to get Officer Jenny down here. That honestly sounds like her. I found a dive ball. Ooh. Yep, I knew there were some trainers over here. Hello, you. Hello. This swing is all in the hips. I'll put my hips into it when I take you on. I am challenged by golfer Molly. Meow. Meow, that's right, twerp. Let's go, two cannon. Two cannon. Use. Use brick break. That's what I was trying to use. I press the button in the wrong move. Booyah. Good job, two cannon. triumph over myself in golf when it comes to triumphing over my opponent in a match Meowth looks for my golf ball when I lose it he even steals it but hello sir bow me and my two cannon When it comes to golf or Pokemon, it's all about the performance. I am challenged by Golfer Allen. Rock Rough. 
Let's go, two cannon. Two cannon. Use brick break. Brick break it. Booyah. Good job. What a miss. My performance was absolutely terrible. Okay, dude, calm down. Dear me. Just getting the ball in the hole. It's fun because it's so difficult. All right, two counts. Get you up to level 34. Or 33, I'm sorry. Okay, hopefully that's all the trainers on this route. Hello, lady. I want to battle you now. What's that? You want to battle me even when I'm using my full force? Be ever to try on Route 8. Oh, frick, we missed somebody. Oh, wait, is there a water area I can surf on? That may, might be what we're missing. If there is, though, I don't remember where the crap it actually is. Maybe... Oh, wait, hello, little kid. There's a vampire always run away before I can nab one. Maybe if you catch up to one, they still try to distract you by dropping items they've gathered and then they run away again. I'll probably go down here. The reason that Milo was always looking for the best ingredients in Lush Jung was actually because she wants to make Olivia say once and for all that her cooking is the best. There's some water. Turn tips. Do you know what the stats describing a Pokemon strengths mean? Special attack or S P A T K is an abbreviation for special attack, and and shows how strong special moves would be. S P D E F is an abbreviation of special defense, and shows how well a Pokemon will be able to stand up to special moves. There's some fighting people. Alright, two cannon. Let's go and do this. Let's bow these two. Who wants to fight with me? Let's try to low and ride you. We haven't given Pikachu. Well, actually, Pikachu had a good bit of attention last time. Hello. Fight me! I'm trading together with the genius next to me in order to beat him. Genius! I teach most to my Pokemon! I am challenged by Karate Family, Family, Samuel, and Guy. My chop and my chop. That's fine with me. Let's go, Alolan Pikachu and two cannons. Alolan Raichu, I mean. I oh, don't know, I said Alolan Pikachu. Shut up, guys. Two cannons. Use Beak Blast the best you can on the Machop on the left. Pikachu, use Psychic the best you can on the Machop on the right. Psychic it, Sparky. Good hit! A brewing attack right from the start. It's down already.
Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't have messed with me. Get beat blasted to the next dimension. You're down already. Good job, team. There we go. Two Kangri to level 33. Where's that preschool that's standing beside you? So that. If you're strong, be just. I bow my head to my young partner. Hmm. I've got the fun to bow myself to my Kwani. Kwani. Kwani, Kwani, Kwani. Alright. For alligator. Now let's put you up front, Darwin. How does that sound? Ooh. A water stone. Okay, at the bottom of the area. Try my train no notes over here. Like I said any hidden knobs or anything would be great. Um, so I can't get over there. Fred, don't worry, baby. You'll get a chance to shine. I'm sorry. You've been doing good, though, bud. I'm, you get, for a little bit of attention you have been getting, you've been doing perfect with it, baby. I love you. You're my baby boy, and you always will be. Alright. Be careful, Friar, because we're about to face, I think, the person that um, is the trial guy of this area. Alright, Friar, again, be careful, bud. I don't want you hurt. Hello, lady. I demand a battle with my Feraligator. A, a battle against your Pokemon against my Feraligator. You be all of the trainers along Route 8? Then it looks like it's finally my time to shine. Now, let's get this thing started, shall we? Come on, Friar. Do your best, buddy. Yes, please. Then here I go. It's time for me and my Pokemon's Z-powered performance. I am challenged by Ace Trainer Eileen. Be careful, Friar. This person probably gonna use Z Power. All right, let's go for Alligator. Be careful out there, buddy. Do the best you can. Oh, he's almost over thirty-four. Dead gum. All right, just use Crunch, sweetheart. Bam, bam, slammed him. <gasps> yes. Oh, for all right, flipping love you. Is that what I wanted you to do? Level 34 you are. <clears throat> Fero. I have an idea. For alligator, thank you, buddy, for all the help you've given me. I know you didn't get much, time, much of a time to shine, but I want to try to give you more if I can. All right. Just come on back to me, sweetheart. You did good. Let's go, Alolan Raichu. Alright. Raichu, use Spark! Good hit. Good job, Alolan Raichu. Good job, buddy. Cool. Friar destroyed everything. And then... A Sparky helped him out. Well, that's the end of me and my Pokemon Z-powered performance. Thanks for taking part in the show. Take this with you as a souvenir. 
And for Sky Drop, ooh. I bet you can find other full force trainers like me on the roots of a level looking for strong enemies to take on in battle. Wouldn't be a fun take a little detour and search them all out. I guess it was the she gave me was. Friar, thank you for the crit, bud. That's two of them. I love you, sweetheart. Ooh. Use your taste the turret into the sky, then drop it during the next turn. The turret cannot attack while in the sky. No way I was thinking learn anyway. Wouldn't it be cool if Rara could learn that? Although he's got a good moveset himself, so I probably won't, wouldn't want to teach it. Alright, Friar, thank you. Thank you, buddy, for that, um, for the affection bonus. I really appreciate it, sweetheart. Thank you, buddy. I love you with all my heart. You're my baby boy, and I do anything for you. You are my baby. I know to you guys that may sound weird, but shut up. I love for alligator. Really, I love him. I love him like a literal son. That's how much I love him. Blaze, you'll be perfect for this dead gum next trial coming up anyway, so let's go ahead and put you up front. Before I even do her trial, I'm gonna go ahead and face these other trainers. To actually get to the trainers that we missed on, around the Lana's trial, the trainers that we missed are actually over here. I did not see whatever just hit me. Although whatever it is, it's probably stupid, yep. Diglett, you can go burn fire for all I care. Hey, Quilava. Run, bud. There you go. There he is, right there. There's one of them at least. Hello, little kid. Aloha. I'm Caleb. Let's give each other a look at our Pokemon and then do a Pokemon battle. I am challenged by youngster Caleb. Charge a bug. All right, Blaze, let's destroy it. All right, Koalava, let's do this. Use. Actually, you know what? Let's try out the Fire Z Crystal. Try it out. All right, Koalava, let's do it. I tried doing that real quick, guys. I know you guys can't see it, but I tried doing the pose. Quilava, use Inferno Overdrive. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. That was amazing, Quilava. That was flipping amazing. Your Pokemon. So cool! Thank you, sir. Thank you, little kid. That's sweet of you. I don't mind, youngster, but I want to be called that boy in shorts. Wait, what? Did you really just say that? I don't mind, youngster, but I want to be called that boy in shorts. Okay, I'll give you the honor of, do of doing that. I was challenged by a boy in shorts, Caleb! And I got me a Zygar. Ooh, I see a TM up there I need to grab. How the frick do I get over... Listen up, you stupid Caterpie. I swear you better not bug me, because look what I've got right here. A fire-type Pokemon, that's right, you little piece of crap. Do you want to take me off now? No, that's what I thought. Then leave me alone and do burn fire. <laughs> I feel bad I'm not giving very much attention, but he already gave me two affection balls and he's uh, giving me... <sighs> Jiminy Cricket, she scared the crap out of me. Here I go! Oh, 
I am challenged by Ace Trainer Alexis. Gumi, whoa, you got a dragon type. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Alright, Quilava. Just use the best flame wheel you can. That ain't very effective, but I still did over half. And you just gotta burn. This thing can paralyze me. Thank God it didn't. Alright, Quilava. Just use flame wheel one more time. Booyah. There we go. Blaze grew to level 34. And a Sylveon. That is a fairy type. Fryer has steel. We don't have poison. Alright. I have an idea. Come on back to me, Quilava. Come on back to me. For alligator, I choose you, baby. Destroy the Sylveon. For alligator, if you can, baby, use Metal Claw. That's my boy. Good hit. And no Swift. That did a decent chunk of damage. For alligator, use Metal Claw if you can just one more time. Brilliant hit, buddy. Brilliant hit. Good job, bud. It's over. Nothing. What? What thing for the hyper potion? What the frick did you just say? Nothing. Good job for alligator. Good job, baby. Thank you for doing good, sweetheart. You did good out there. Really good. Alright, Glider, I'll put you up front. I'll heal up on with the Pokemon Center in a minute. Oh my god! So, what do you think of the largeness of my, what do you think of the largeness of my area? I am challenged by Hiker Gabriel. I did not know there was this many trainers over here. That's cool though. Mudbray. Alrighty, let's go Glider. Glider, me and Brother Glider are breathing in perfect sync with one another. Use Dragon Claw, buddy. Slam it. Good hit. Whoa! A large scale trainer. In my case, my volume is a large addition to my area. I don't care about you, Foe Man. You can suffer in fire for all I care. Like, seriously, I don't give a flying for doodle crap about it. Flyers at me with intense and determined eyes. Cool. I regret this. Okay, no. Is there anybody else I need to worry about? I want to go for that TM that's down here. Or up here, or whatever. There we go. Brutal Swing. Ooh, pretty cool. Thank gum, you son of a frick, frick, frick. 
Diglett, you can go die, please. No one likes you. Squire, just run away from this piece of frick. He sees piece of my fashion as well. I found ether. I wonder if that's all the trash. Like I guess there's still one more train we can face over there. I'm gonna try doing that. Diglett, I hope you suffer in fire. Seriously, you little piece of stupid frick. You piece of stupid frick. <laughs> oh my gosh, good combat trick, you piece of stupid frick. <laughs> really, of all things, it's alright. I should be every trainer at the. You scared the crap out of me. Alright, dude, is that all the trainers? Can I fight you now? I'm one of the trial guides that's here to help out young trial goers on their island challenge. My particular duty is to test just how strong trial goers have become. Uh. Um. Well, guys, that's not good. Oh, there's one over there. That might be the last one. I'm trying to fight every trainer I see, guys. It's more experience for us. We're gonna need that. Alright, Glider. Let's go, bud. Don't worry about the stupid bug. Me and Glider bring her sink. Just run away. I gotta pull on light, me. Glider's doing really good right now. Alright, we got a cherry berry. A cherry berry. A Persian berry. And that's it. Alright, Mr. Breeder. Fight me! Battles are the best for raising Pokemon! I am challenged by Pokemon Breeder Cory Paris. Piss, piss. All right, let's go, Glider. We know just what to do with this stupid bug, right? Glider, use Ember. Booyah! It's down already. Spinner rack, it's another bug. Alright, well, thank you. I hate spiders too. Glider, use Ember just one more time. Good job, Glider. Even if Pokemon lose, it's okay as long as the trainer grows from that. Trainers also grow through raising Pokemon. Pokemon. Alright. Now that should be the last one. Now we should be able to fight this other dude. Hello, sir. Now can we fight? So, you were able to beat everybody on Route 5 at least, huh? Then I'll give you a little trial of my own. You think you're ready to take on my little trial? I've got a Z-Ring myself, as you can see here. I'd be happy to. I'd heard that the latest batch of trial go was a feisty lot. I've been looking forward to this. This old trial guide's little trial is about to start. Ah, uh, 
I am challenged by chi trial guide Bronson. Hey Bronson, what do you got? Slow poke. Let's go, glider. Glider, use crunch. Good hit, buddy. Good hit. There we go. Congratulations. You cleared a little trial. That's the end of my little trial. Please. You've got some solid moves, kid. He said few we by the way. I didn't I said please by mistake. Yep, I've gotta congratulate you on this win. Here's a reward for clearing my little trial. Nature but of course one of the worst teams. Frick. Seeing you young kids give it your all like that. You all shine as bright as the sun over a lower. This may just be a volunteer position, but I'm sure you may have decided to be a trial guide. I us go and get my team healed up again. They didn't lose much HP. Mail call is not the best move for Fryer, but it's actually really in this game it actually kind of is because like him having mail call really helps us actually because now we got something good against fairy types. Since we don't have no poison type Pokemon on the side. This is gonna make things hard because I really want to use Quilala and all that, but at the same time, like he's already ahead as it is. Him and Fryer are both ahead. Maybe what I'll do is I'll use him for the fight. I'll do something I did for the war trial and wait until we get to the Tome Home before I face him. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go to Rue 8 since I ain't too far away. Come on, Charizard, let's fly to the sky. I think after Iwana's try, I mean after, um... I think after, um, Milo's try, we'll be moving on and try to pick my Pokemon as well. Here we go. Lost Jungle does an egg trial set for the Island Challenge. And then Lost Jungle, a treasure trove of nature's gifts. Let's do this. Hello, Mallow, I'm ready. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lost Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. That's why I'm going to make you help me. Er, uh, no. I mean, that's why you should try my trial. You are the one who got a sparkling stone straight from Toffee Coco, aren't you? You're so totally ready for this. Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can tell just what today's special should be. Specialty, the Mallow Special. I'm gonna need you to find four ingredients for me. I need a Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Hub, and a Miracle Seed. Oh yeah. Have you, have you got, here you go. I brought you a forward bag to hold all the ingredients guide for your trial. Your voice kills my throat. Trial ingredients in your own bag, they get mixed up with your stuff, right? When you're hunting for ingredients, you're gonna wanna rely on Stantlin's help. He'll find things that you don't see after all. 
You remember what I told you at the farm, right? Just press the B button and you start and search. Okay, one more thing. There are four things you need to get for me to clear your trial. A maggot berry, a tiny mushroom, a revival hub, and a miracle seed. You got it? Okay, then here in Lost Jungle, it's time for Mala's trial to begin. Please don't talk again. I hurt my throat. Zoom. I'm not such a big fan of jungles. Where are all the comfy machines at, huh? Mallow's special tip. Stout one is the best. He's a real pro when it comes to sniffing out primo ingredients. We have found some mushrooms brought in the store already. Which mushroom should we take? The tiny one. There we go. But the big mushroom attacked us. Alright, who wants to fight me? Oh! That is an ugly bug! No, no, no. Burn it with fire. Burn it with fire now. It's time to burn and fire, burn and fire, oh yeah. It's time to burn and fire, burn and fire, time to get embered. Good job, glider. Good job, glider. Really good start. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Oh, a tiny mushroom. That's great! There's a secret to why they're so popular with some people. You'll have to try one to find out what it is. Still have three ingredients left to give. We still need a whole big helping. Hey, and that's the fence. Oh, what the frick? No! Get off the map, Rotom. I'm trying to start search with Stout one right now. Don't worry, Ferrari. I'll give you some attention, bud. Thank you for the crypts you've been getting. I mean, the affection moss you've been giving me a day, though, buddy. I love you for that. Mallow's special tip. Money poke will love berries, so be sure to add them to your cooking whenever you can. So I need a Mago berry from here. Oh wait, it's over here. Yep. On that special attack. Whatever's in here I don't care about. Like I just said, I don't care. So you know what I'm going to do instead? Glider, let's get you some experience, buddy. How's that sound? Glider, use Ember. And by the way, the test actually said that he was curious about my fashion. And by the way, this thing just lived. Alright, Glider. Use Ember just one more time to finish off the little piece of snot. Good job, Glider. There's a berry buried in the ground. There it is, Mago Berry.
Oh, the freak. Okay, let me. I want to finally get that TM if I can. I don't think it's over here. But we are only two ingredients away. Milo's special tip. When pouring berry seeds in the ground, they gain an especially rich and com complex flavor. Um. That's attack. Are we, are we find a miracle seed? Hey, it's me, Milo. It's a great miracle seed. Miracle seeds are busting with nutrition. They really are a miraculous gift from the jungle. Just one nice ingredient left. Get back out there and find it. Big root. Uh. I want that TM as well. It's a patch of rather suspicious looking, suspicious looking grass. Will you pull it up? Yes. It's a revival herb. Wait, no it's not. I say a glance, it's just a normal weed. Are you serious? A Pokemon leaped out of the grass to attack. Are you kidding me right now? That's fine. Let's go, Glider. Hey, come on, Pokemon. You want to square up? Let's do this. Money. I don't want to that. Use Ember Glider. If only Ember if only Ember was a more powerful attack. Alright. Use Ember just one more time. Thank you, Stoutland, for the hyper potion. And a heal powder, which I'll never use. But hey. Uh, 
come on, I want to read the sign. Are you flipping? I just want to read. <laughs> Matt was a special tip. Rawhards are shorter than nearby grasses, and they revive whoever eats them, so they are great to add to any dish. Go away, you dumb map. There we go. Got the revival herb. And I'm going to wait to attack me again. Hey, Flare Mantis. Let's go, Glider. Let's knock this piece of crap out. Glider, use Ember! Again, if only Ember was a more powerful attack. Good job, Glider. Thank you for avoiding that stuff. Use Ember one more time. Good job, buddy. Are you good to level 34? There we go. Actually, I might. Because, like I said, if there is a pawn that can attack me, like I said, it's and it's on right, that would be fine because. Yep. Oh, it's on. And it's alright, that's good because I guess I'm trying to level up my Pokemon. More experience. Come on, Glider, let's knock this piece of crap out. Glider's with me when Tencent and Termin dies. Use Ember, buddy. Good hit without a crit. No, he just did it. Good job. Speaking of flame charge, can can um pull all the cam? Ah, oh, dang it. Wow, um, well, I was only gonna learn nature power. I ain't gonna teach it to him, but. Here's the place where that TM is okay, I think. Yep. Grass knot. It is grass knot. Okay, cool. I highly doubt it, but can anybody learn that? I will and Raichu is the only one I can learn in the grass knot, and I wonder why. I honestly kind of wonder why and how. Alright, Milo, we're on our way. 
There we go. We made it. Hey, Mel. Hey, Trin. Great. Now that we've got all the ingredients, we just need... Sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Milo? I brought a thick club and a rare bone. And I brought you some fresh water and the usual rocky helmet. Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Kyaway. Now we've got everything we need. You're up next, Triton. We're going to cook up a storm and lure we'll out the tall Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Oh, no. Let me see what you've got for me. One Mago Berry. Check. One tiny mushroom. Check. One revival herb. Check. One miracle seed. Check. Perfect. Just what the recipe calls for. Now we can make the Milo special. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw that tall Pokemon right to us. Ready to start cooking? Not yet. Got it. Let me know when you are ready. Oh good, she gives you a second. Thank the Lord. I need to switch my Pokemon around. It's either gonna be two cannon or Blaze. How far is two cannon away from getting leveled up? Not too far. Here, cool. How far is Palava and Frau here away from each other? 2,114. Okay, if is closer. You know what? Quilava. I know two cans further away, but I like Quilava better. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really do. Alright, now I'm ready. Let me talk to you two first. I wonder what kind of dish she's playing for today. We have no choice but to wait. Okay, now I'm ready. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw that tumble on right to us. Ready to start cooking? Yes, now I am. Okay, Lana. Flip that rocky helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. Here you are. Then in go the Mago Berry, the Tiny Mushroom, the Revival Herb, and the Miracle Seed. Kiawei, let us use a thick club and that rare bone for a minute. There you are. Okay, Trin, grab the thick club and the rare bone and pound it all to a pulp. Press the A button to pound the ingredients. Let's do it. Crush it. Grind it. Okay, you don't have to sound weird when I'm doing this, lady. Turn it to cool. Lord. Oh my gosh. A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Here comes a scary grass bug, guys. Or scary grass looking mantis thing. Hello, you creepy Pokemon. Do I have to fight you? Lorantis, the tone Pokemon of Lush Jungle, has appeared. Well, good thing I switched Pokemon before this happened. Hello there, Totem Lorantis. I just had a great idea. I have a great idea. Quilava, I choose you. This is perfect. I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. I'll do something I did with the Feraligator, maybe be able to one-shot it. Quilava, let's use your Z-Power. Let's use Inferno Overdrive. You're gonna regret messing with me, Totem Lorantis. This is what you get for kind of looking, like, looking like a bug. Use Inferno Overdrive, Quilava. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> it's down already. We did it. Kualava beat it in one hit. And got to level 34. Good job, Kualava. You did the same thing Fryer did a while ago, or earlier, where he one shot it with his water move. Good job, Quilava. You deserve that victory. That was awesome. Oh my gosh! My turbo I just got beat in one hit by a Quilava. If you think that's something, he beat his alligator beat my um Tom Salazo in one hit. What a freaking legend! How the frick does he even have a freaking for alligator or a freaking Quilava? Where the frick did he get those from? Okay, why are y'all over here discussing? Don't discuss, just be proud to actually defeat your Pokemon. Wow, Triton, you're strong, huh? You were really able to draw out the flavor of your Pokemon in that battle by using Z Power and knocking out my Pokemon in one hit. The total Pokemon bowed right down to you. Yes, even back at Walla Volcano Park. My vaunted Salazar didn't stand a chance against his Feraligator. His Feraligator was flipping fantastic, man. Nor did the wishy washy that I had trained so carefully. Alright, you cleared all three of Akala's trials. You even managed to get through my trial. That's it, it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer who can watch how on a Pokemon with one hit. Hey, thank you, Milo. Quilava, this is what you helped me earn, buddy. Thank you for helping me clear Lana's trial and getting the grass type Z crystal. Friar did it with the fire one, Pikachu did it with the water one, and Quilava just did it with the grass one. We received a Z crystal from Milo. Let me show you how to use grass type Z moves. You go like grass. Okay. I think I think the grass one, and the water one's two of my favorite ones that they do because it's simply. Don't take this the wrong way, guys. But the water one's just the motion of the ocean. What I mean by it, it's like how the ocean's waves move around. You know, whenever you do when you do the water pose, you go. You know, you move your hands like a wave. And with the grass one, it's just, you bloom like a flower. I can't quite do it, but stuff like that. I want you to help me train some Pokemon from here in the Lush Jungle. Here, have some balls. Some nest balls, that is. Okay, you didn't have to say that weirdly. You, you did. You could have just said nest balls. You didn't say balls and then go nest balls. Hmm. Looks like our way just didn't finish all the food. Uh, I really want you guys to try some. Have a bite, Kiawe. You too, Lana. If you insist. Oh my. <laughs> The flavor from the red bone seems to fill my whole mouth. It tastes so good, you might melt. No, wait. Is that my tongue that's melting? Uh, it's... It's so... Spicy! What? What? What's wrong with you guys? Don't you have any taste buds? I mean, if you did, you would know that my it's the best thing you've ever tasted. <laughs> I suppose this is Trent helping me make it, and he can watch out everything inside. Lord, Lana, I think you, I, Lana, Milo, I think you've gone crazy, my dear. Uh, I wish I didn't say my dear. Are you headed out to Olivia for the grand trial? The freak was that? <laughs> oh, hello, Kakui. Whoa! What's that sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a tasty mile special? 
I heard you cleared Miles' trial, yeah? Alright then, I have a present for you. I can I get his voice right. That little TM right there, Smart Strike. A move that will never miss. Thank you, Kakui, for Smart Strike. There will be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get over there with extreme speed. Hey there, Trenton. Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of the Carl Island's trials. Congrats! Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's Grand Trial. Olivia is an expert user of rock type Pokemon. You're gonna want to catch some grass type Pokemon and love string with the idea team. Whenever you're ready for the Grand Trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah? But just ask Rodom if you need some help. Didn't the professor tell you to head for that Dimension Research Lab? Okay, that was completely weird. Good job, Quilava. You did great getting us through that. You destroyed everything in one hit just like Friar did. You and Friar are some of the best partners I've ever had on my team. Ever. And don't let everybody tell you otherwise. Hey Trenton, how's it? I knew I heard your footsteps. I meant to switch Pokemon. Please don't battle me yet. I just finished up Malice trial, you know. <laughs> that Malice special of hers was just about good enough to break the mouth, eh? You head into the Dimensional Research Lab, you just keep on going straight ways. You going on straight ways that way. Maybe I'll catch you there later. Okay, didn't even fight you. You know what, Anton? Anton Road, right, that's fine with me. Because again, I want to fight. I want to get my phone switched out anyway. Good job, Quilava. You did really good during that trial. Alright. Toucan, you're the only one at level 33 still, so let's get you there to level 34. Here we go, we're going the right way, it's over here. Here we go. Hey Lily, what are you doing with Cosmog over there? <laughs> I was just acting like I was treating. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers, or thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I see Trenton and Hal, it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through into the future. It seems... So amazing somehow. Hey Cosmog. Hey Lily. Oh Um Oh Triton, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. But there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. How how are your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. Not really. Let me go and tell you how it went, Lily. Let's see. First up was the water trial. Prior destroyed it. Well, my team destroyed it. And then the Tom Pong got destroyed by my Pikachu in two hits. And then the fire trial. Let me go and tell you what that one, Lily. It was a real doozy. Um, I told Prior to use his Z power, his water type Z power. And then Friar defeated the Pokemon in one hit. And it was an amazing start. And then, the Grass Trial. Quilava used his Z-Power. 
and destroyed the Tome Orantis in one hit. And that was a wonderful start. So, for me, Lily, the three trials were no problem. Goodness, really? There wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of Akala Island's trials? Why it's so good to have a good team? I suppose that explains it. The reason you look so content and understood by Two Cannon and Feraligator and uh, Quilava and all their other Pokemon there too, I mean. Off to the Dementia Research Lab. Through the dimensions of my Dex Heart. What'd you just say? Through the Dementia? Though the dimensions of my decks are perfect. Ooh. Can you stop going ooh? Oh my god. Santa wants to talk to you. Zzz. You've collected 10% so far. You like to know what this number means. Please come to the Aether Base on Route 16 on the Uni Uni Island. You're a kid from Warmer. Bony chance. Can you stop? You're going to the Dimensional Research Lab, aren't you? Anyone could tell that. After all, there's nothing else upstairs. Ooh. Dimensional Research, huh? That reminds me of something I heard about some rare Pokemon that can use rings to teleport itself through space. Which floor do I to go to? Third floor. Hey there, honey! Oh, hi! This here's Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah? And she's also my wife. You're Trenton, right? Lily told me about you and how handsome you were. Um, Lily? What, you didn't... You know what? Screw it. She said you were the reliable sort, and also how handsome you were, and that's all she was talking about. Okay, Lily. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag also unconscious. Hmm? No how today? How? He's out doing his own thing, but he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like old Hollow before him. You really think so? W whoa Well, uh, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. <laughs> and while I got your name in a sentence, let me go ahead and say the joke. <laughs> How have you been? <laughs> Anyhow... I brought Trenton here because I wanted you to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomenon here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean... The Ultra Wormhole. Ooh. Stop going ooh. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think they may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? You're some Pokemon. Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beast, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is actually true. 
but I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the ultra wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. What? Does the professor think we've got nothing better to do than read things and talk to folks? Hi there, Trenton. Hey there, Trenton. Go see what you can learn from everybody. I'm about to check out Diglett's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon. Right? If you use battle teams, you can not only register six special teams for your bosses, you can even register the same Pokemon to more than one battle team at a time. That's why battle teams are the best. If you use the Versus Recorder, you can not only rewatch re old Link battles you had with others, can even hold mock battles against the teams captured in the battle video. That's why battle videos are the best. There was a man named Mon who years ago published his theory about the ultra wormholes. Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the Inner Dream Zone. Giratina. This Pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours where common knowledge is distorted and strange. Bronzong. It brought rains by opening pools to another world. It was reverted as a bringer of pentiful harvest. Palkia. Its total control over the boundaries of space and enable it to transport itself to faraway places or even other dimensions. Alright. Hey Cosmog. Okay, yeah, you say nothing different. Alrighty. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I'd want to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way. And ended up wandering about into a cleft on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. And then she even got her husband, Professor Kikui, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like... Like a real mother to me. That's nice. Good on you, Professor Burnett. And good job, Lee. You found a great person. Alright, we done now, Kakui. How about no how about that, Trenton? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kinds of moves they can use. You finished all three of the college trials. Woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here on Akawa. The Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Coney Coney City. But watch out for Team Skull. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I'm off to check out Diggle's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? Yep. Diggle's Tunnel? What a lucky bunch. I want to have a place named after me, too. Alright. Two Canyon, only one at level 33. Let's get you up there.
don't worry, for it won't be long till you get more attention. Hopefully, he does not want. Hopefully, he wants more than just one thing. I'm gonna take care of my Pokemon. I forgot. Let's try to finish up the Grand Trial real quick. Or at least... What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. He treating. So you've made it through all three Cat's Trials, yeah? You should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives at the town past Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is... Let's see... From here, it's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to walk right past it, though, so keep your eyes peeled. Now it's Malasada time for me! I won't even for you. I think they are. What's this? You're overrode on the next? Be having a grand time with Festival Plaza, right? Hey, giving them a try. You open your head to menu with the X button and give the button uh, that says Festival Plaza or tap. No. You know what I will do, though? I'll go inside this tunnel and get two count to level 34, then I'll give Frogger a lot more attention. Speaking of Frogger, let me make sure he doesn't. Let's make sure he ain't close to getting over 35, because I really want to get more attention. Oh crap, he is kind of close. That stinks. I want to give him attention. Olivia's in here. Yep. Hmm. Oh, Trenton, wasn't it? Yes, it was, Olivia. This cave really is something, you know. It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they are getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So, how's your island challenge going? Let me see which Christmas you've earned. Ooh, look at you, Trenton. Nice work. I see you've even passed Mallow's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down too. If you are as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. If we get through this tunnel, we'll be just steps away from Coney Coney City. Zzz. Oh, balls. Here we go with round number 482. Alright. Just run, two cannon. Hello, sir. Looks like you're a fellow trainer who can use Z-Power in battle. Let's find out whose full force strength is the, uh, fullest. Beat all the trails in this tunnel if you think you can take me on. I got 12 more pails. I'm just going to use them because they're going to be a pain in the neck. Don't worry, Fry, it won't be too much while I'll give you more attention. It's the dude that right here wants to fight me. Hello, sir. I want to fight you and your Pokemon. Whether in battles or in digging tunnels, Pokemon are incredible. I am challenged by Worker Frank. Hey, 
Hey, Diglett. Let's go, two cannon. Two cannons are with tension and determined eyes. Use brick break, two cannon. After the sucker punch. Brick break it. Booyah, take that, Diglett. The same is true for my Pokemon, but your Pokemon, incredible. Thank you, sir. This was originally a path dug by Diglett. Diglett let us use it as well, so we maintain it out of gratitude. We found a dust ball. Are you serious? There's a fire stone in here. Here we go. Who, with Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Elola! We're members of the Aether Foundation. We like to we work to support Pokemon conservation. It, it seems like Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting all so riled up and bringing them all up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to do delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their homes and or their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck. I are you? I got it. Some of the Diglett are still stuck on or near the surface, though, so be careful. Thanks for letting me know. Hyper Potion. I'm gonna outrun the Diglett. Ooh, I actually did. Cool. I'm gonna fight every trainer in here so I can get more experience. Hello, sir. I demand a battle with you ASAP. Dig a hole. I am challenged by Worker Jeff. Let's go, two cannons. Two, ca two cannons will last out of my mouth and I'll secure. Use Brick Break. There we go. Give him Mud Bray as well. Okay, let's keep going. Two cannon. Use beat blast. You're about to get burned. There you go. Use beat blast. Booyah. It's down and out. 
If there was a hole here, I'd want to crawl into it. I want to dig a hole and hide. Dig a hole. If I dug it, I'd want to fill it up. My soul cries out at me to do it. Fight me, sir. Work through brute force doesn't go well. I am challenged by Worker Vaklov. Well, that's a Machop. Hey there, Machop. Let's go, Two Cannon. Two Cannon, use Beat Blast. Beat Blast it. Good job. Your power is beyond what I imagined. It is over 9,000. Dear God, dude. Your voice is so deep, it terrifies me. Doing calculations allows you to tap into your power. Oh my God! Oh, hey, Team Skull. Ah, no way. Just when things were starting to heat up, yo. I got surrounded by Diglett and Beat Up, yo. Yo, since we can Diglett use Beat Up. I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. Shreeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
the gloom that enfolds us like fog. We can't seem to shake it off. I want Florida to have some attention. Don't worry, too, Cam. Let me get that poison off of you. Here you go, bud. It'll take a second, but the poison will all be gone. While I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and take care of everybody. Don't worry, Ferrari. You'll be getting some attention in a few minutes, baby. I'm going to go ahead and take care of everybody. Good job, two cannon. My whole team's been doing good. Friars got me two fetch him bonuses and has been doing pretty good. Well, I was getting, I don't think Wall was actually gave me one yet, has he? He may have given me one earlier on, I can't remember. I know I know two cannons gave me some. Friars gave me at least two. And then I think somebody else did as well. I think Pikachu did. And you want one more. I say you want. You want there. Alright. Raichu wants a good bit of attention too. Come on Raichu, let's pet you. You are extremely hard to pet. Kind of. Although I love a low and right shoot, and I think you can also give him a high five too. I think in some way. I don't know what you about to want no more. So I can get him to give me a high five. He did, he gave me a high five. Good job, I want right too. My whole team has been doing good today. I give Ferrari a little special shout for giving me two affection bonuses though, and Koala for doing good during like the grass trial. And all that. Alright, here you go. Alright, Friar, you'll be the next one I'll be using, buddy. You want a little bit, you want a lot of attention, so that's where you're gonna get, sweetheart. Hey, buddy. I love you, darling. You're my baby boy. He's also my favorite Pokemon out of this entire group. I love this Pokemon. Fire's the best one on my on this list. I love him. Fire basically is my whole baby boy. And like I said, guys, one thing about Fire to also like is that he has a big grin on his face whenever he's pet. If you guys could see the grin he's giving me right now, oh my god, it's so adorable. You can just see what the time the total of him shining through. 
on the totem instead of smiling. Well, I guess he kind of smiled, but it's more. He was doing more of a face that said, "Ah, oh, that feels so good, trainer. Thank you for petting me. Oh, that feels so good." Bro's giving me that kind of look too. But he's like a very. He's kind of like, "Ah, oh, that feels so good. Thank you, trainer, for giving me this. That feels so good. I love the petting." You know, that's kind of the link he's giving me. Kind of the same thing, except with a lot more of a wider grin. Well, I shouldn't say a wider grin, but a wide grin. Let's say it that way. Unfortunately, you cannot give Ferrari a high five. That would be so awesome if you could. It would be one of the coolest things about him. Although, Ferrari himself is just awesome. I love Ferraliator. When this project actually ends, I'm going to be kind of sad because this might, it might be, be the other than PBR, but the only project I'll ever get East for all year in. Here, bud. You deserve some food. You did good for me today. I love you, baby. Here, and they're all blue as well. Pretty cute, too. If it was an aqua, we'd match your coloring. I love you, for alligator. You're my best friends. Lava wants a lot of attention, and Shellgon does too. I think I'm petting him right now. Come on, Quilava. Quilava's another one of them super hard to pet, though, because he likes it right on his snout, and that makes it really hard to do. Although, guys, it won't be too much longer until we actually get him to evolve into Typhlosion. He's already at level 34, guys. We're almost at level 35, which means... Maybe at the end of this episode, we'll have a Typhlosion. I don't know. I'm going to give Friday a little bit more attention to just one battle. Like I said, that's what's... He's already got me two affection bonuses. That probably could have happened yesterday if I would have just given him more time. If I do this game again, you can bet mine will have these same teammates again. Because I love this team. Although, maybe I'll place two can at somebody else. Maybe instead of having two can, I'll see if I can get like a good grass starter or something. Maybe I can see if I can get like Chikorita and then we can have the Jodo, whole Jodo starter lines going on. It'd be kind of cool. Grass is not the best typing to have, but hey, it would help us against that water trial. Really help us against that. It really would. Alright. Here you go, Koala. I'm going to let you know right now, guys. I think most of the rest, I think most the rest of this episode will focus mainly on using Feral Gear and Koala. I love using him on the pawn too, but I really want to give Friday more attention. Maybe he'll be able to get me three affection bonuses or more. Refection bonuses ain't a requirement, but I really like him to get me a few more if he can. He's do he's been doing really good. And I really like that. Show him wants a lot of attention too, so let's go ahead and give it to him. I love my Pokemon friends, but Ferrari is my number one, Koala is my number two, and then like my number three.
There we go. All right, I'm going to put Friday up front. I think most of I think like I said, most of the rest of this episode will probably focus more on him than anybody. Anyway. Yo, step off. Enough with the beating up, yo. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. See you on the flip side. Man, Trenton, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I just gotta give you something. Thank you for the Mass Ether, Hal. Mass Ether's will restore all the power points of one of your moves, you know? Pretty great, right? Now I'm gonna go have some more fun with these Diglett. See ya. Zzz. Which one is Olivia Shock? Why doesn't my map have this programmed into it? Alright, for alligator. Let's go and give you some attention, bud. How much how much more do you need to get to the next level? Only 310. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a little bit more attention than that. There's no way. I'm giving him more attention than that. I love for her so much I want to succeed. Which he will. He's a great Pokemon. Route 9. Short and sweet. Route 9 Police Station. Don't fight. Don't meet anyone's eyes. If you ever get lost, just try the town map. I depend on it regularly. Okay, that's gonna drive me nuts. Oh well. For alligator. Good luck to you, darling. Let's fight this police officer. Come on, buddy. Do your best. Let's fight. I haven't had any cases, so I'm bored. How about a battle? I am challenged by police officer Haruki. Alrighty, Feraliger, let's let's get rid of this growl. I choose you, Feraligator. You're my baby boy and I flippin' love you. You're one of my babies. Yeah, you'll see some. Feraligator, don't worry about that, bud. You scald and hit it as hard as you can. Booyah, that's my boy for alligator. Amazing hit. Amazing hit, sweetheart. This is a case. Or not. There we go. Good job, for our amazing hit. It's okay for a police officer to be weak because the Lola is peaceful. can sleep in peace here. Here in the shadow of Tapu Lele, sacred ruins. The ruins of life. They say that's why a memorial hill was built here long ago. This way to, Mel um, to Memorial Hill, and beyond it, the ruins of life. We're going to come back through here anyway, so I'll save that area for a little bit later. 
trainer tips. On the screen where you select a ride Pokemon to call, press the control pad icon beside a Pokemon, register that Pokemon to a direction button. Once you register a Pokemon, you can call it in no time by pressing that button in the field. So netball. And it's accuracy. Alright, for alligator. Ain't the best matchup, but let's fight this fisherman. I keep repeating fair battles with Pokemon and trainers. What kind of person is a fisherman? I am challenged by Fisherman Mike. Come on, for alligator, let's own whatever he sends out at you. Oh, frick, I think it's part of electric, ain't it? Alright, for alligator, be careful, bud. Let's go. Be careful out there, sweetheart. This thing is part of electric, if I remember correctly. For alligator, use crunch the best you can, baby. Be careful out there. Whoa, good job, bro. You did great. Good flipping job, man. Way to go. That's my boy. Joy when I hook it. Sadness when it gets away. Friar, good flipping job, man. You're my most favorite point of all time. Life bobs up and down. I think while watching the Baba. I could catch rare Pokemon from rock piles with bubbles spouting from them. Let's go in and go in here. Alright, let's look around. Hello. Wouldn't you like some lovely smelling incense? Uh, no. Come again. I'll be waiting. No, not you. You. Lomi Lomi is the style of massage we practice here in Alola. How about a treatment for your Pokemon? It will make them feel more friendly towards you. What do you say? Can I do a little lummy lummy on that for alligator you have there? That's what I really want you to do. Yes, 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 yes. Then allow me to just take for alligator there for a moment. All oh, frogs gonna love me after this. There we go. I think that lummy lummy session helped inspire some good, friendly feelings towards you. Well, thank you. I don't understand these forging goods, but they are pretty fun to look at. I had no trouble understanding the stones and fossils in Miss Olivia's store up there. I want to have the fur around my head and those neck trimmed and cleaned up. Oh, my silly hypno. She's a clumsy one, and she always puts the styles right to sleep. No. That's one of my favorite things about that. That's one of my favorite things about talking to that one hypno. No. There's actually a few places you can actually go to actually check your points friendship. One of them is actually inside this town. However, there's another place later on again, I believe in the third island that you can go where you can actually check your points friendship from there. And that's one of them where I'm really excited to check on because that really tells you, I guess, like more about your points of love towards you. That's going to make me excited to see for alligators and all that. It would be better to set off my Pikachu's coloring. 
Oh, hello. Hmm, there are no traditional looking clothes here that go well with my oracle order. Maybe I should just choose some items that will be useful in battle instead. You know what? If you like an outfit that someone is wearing in Festival Plaza, they can have a pair of items delivered straight to ya. Cool. Welcome to the technical machine shop. May I help you? Sure. Dragon tail. Hmm. I lost a lot of money for those right now, so I ain't gonna worry about it. By the way, this way right here is the one that lets you check your point of friendship. So let's see how a point of friendship is. Do you want to know if your Pokemon feel friendly towards you or not? Yes, ma'am, please. Do my Ferrari is like flipping love them. Please don't Ferrari love me. I would feel really good. Then I'll have a look at your fur alligator there, shall I? Oh. My. God. It feels incredibly close to you. Nothing makes it happier than being with you. That's what I've always wanted. My fur alligator flipping loves me. My fur alligator flipping loves me. Oh, please, man, that's all the same from all my other porn, too. Sir, I flipping love you, man. You're my favorite porn of all time, you always will be. What about my low and right you, huh? What about my low and right you? My! It feels incredibly close to you, just like you're for alligator. Nothing must have ever been with you. That's good, that's good, that's good, come on, come on. Come on, cool lava, please tell me you feel the same with Friar Duck, because that makes me feel good knowing Friar loves me. Do you love me? Two can, let's go and check you first since you're before full lava. Does my two can like me? My, it feels incredibly close to you. Nothing makes it feel happier than being with you. Guys, I think we just have full friendship with all Pokemon. That is awesome, yes, the game. That is freaking awesome. Come on, come on, cool lava fryer flipping loves me. Can you please do the same? Then I'll have a look at your Quillava. My! This Quillava feels incredibly close to you, just like that fur alligator. How the frick do you have a po two poles in the Jota region? Um. Why do you ask? Why does everybody ask? Hell no. Glider, please tell me you like me. I love all of you. Uh, I'll have a look at your shell gone. My! It feels incredibly close to you. Nothing much happened being with you. Oh, heck yeah. Hey, you didn't know how to say it that creepily. Ooh, wait a minute. Hello? Welcome! Come right in! Table for one today? Yes, please. At our place, we offer a daily special that we call our Z sets. I recommend them. Any of our sets are just a thousand four forty Poke Dollars. What do you say? Will you give one a try? I'll take the meat Z set. What are up? Turf Z Turf Z set for one. I'll show you to your seat. Cash it for alligator and all my other Pokemon friends. They deserve more than I do. Here you are. Honestly, I'm pulling deserve that more than I do. They did a great job, especially for Alligator. Mm, fantastic! The pasta is al dente and firm, and the meat sauce goes beautifully with it. The fried eggs have nice runny yolks that mix into the pasta for even more flavor. It was delicious. Exactly. Okay, yeah, there you go. 
And this is a special after meal service for our customers. Hey, two art scales. Thank you very much for dining with us. We hope you'll come again soon. I ate until I'm fit to burst. Didn't get a bit of a workout in with some Pokemon battles. But I guess my Pokemon are the ones working. So I bother they're the only ones staying slim. Alola is home to lots of new dishes. Since the foods of so many different cultures and regions all get mixed together here. That's great. And I love copying great things. Just like copying upon its best moves. It's okay to get sick of doing something. It's just a chance to try something new. Well, every single I never get sick of the raw one up here. They have at this restaurant. You've got to eat up to grow strong, right? So if I just keep making enough delicious food, everyone will eat it and get stronger. Can I take care of for alligator? I'm sorry, so I'll let you sleep. You can go ahead and do that. I'm going to take care of for alligator real quick. Sorry, you don't want much attention. But let me go ahead and tell you, buddy. You did fan. Oh, now he's sleeping. I wish I left him alone. Look. Oh, that's adorable. Guys, let me go ahead and tell you, Ferrari did freaking fantastic today. I think if I gave him a little bit, like I said, I was trying to make him shine like a star more today. I just did, still didn't get much of a chance. The main chance he had was in the beginning whenever we had to face them, um, uh, the Bow Buffet people. What I may do, guys, is, um... I'm going to give, I think, Fryer a little bit more of a chance to shine in, in the next episode. I know he's been the one getting closer to to the level for Alligator. Hold on, bud. Let me pet you real quick. Sorry, bud. Sorry, please don't be ticked off at me. For Alligator, I flippin' love you, baby. You're my baby boy. Let me tell you this, buddy. You did flippin' fantastic today. Again, you didn't get to perform much in many of these battles, but the ones you got to perform in, you did exquisite, and I'm proud of you for that. Plus the two affection bonuses, I really admire that, buddy, and I really feel appreciated that you really like me. You're one of my most favorite point of all time, and you always will be. Don't worry, you'll have a little bit more attention next episode, because that's what I'll start out with. I'll give you at least a little bit more attention, and then I'll probably give it to Quilava from there. Do you want one more, bud, or no? Nope. All right, Frower. Love you, bud. I love you so much, my baby. I got, I got, I got something to tell you guys real quick. But let me go ahead and make sure this thing's saved again. While this thing is doing the thing it's supposed to do, I'm going to make sure it's saved. I am going to let you know that I think my theory in its own right was correct. Actually, along with that look, my light's blinking, so if I wait any longer, we'd have been screwed. Um, let me go ahead and tell you, I think, I think what I did was actually pretty good today. Friar did fantastic for the Pokemon he had to face. Again, he didn't get much time, but the little bit of time he did end up getting... Ooh, it really worked out for him in its, in its own right. So, yeah. The main thing I think I ran into a problem with this episode was... Well, no, here, here's the thing. I kind of proved my theory to be right. In the last video, whenever we played the game, Frowler only had one chance to shine. Or only, like, a few chances to shine. And he only ended up giving me one affection bonus. But you guys got to remember that, again... He didn't get much time to shine, 
at all. He got like really hardly any chance. So, yeah. I think honestly what I did today actually proves that too because he knows that Friar ended up giving me two effects and boss instead of just one. And I'm sure that if he had like a few more minutes or like even just another hour, he would have done the same thing again. Toucan gave me a few. Shellgun gave me a few. I think Peach gave me one or two. So, yeah. Did you just... Well, guys, the good thing I did stop this video, or was about to stop this video anyway, because my thing was about to die. Because we just got interrupted if I wait any longer anyway. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to go and tell you, Friar's going to get more attention next episode along with Koala. We're going to start with Friar for a little while, though, and try to give him a few minutes to shine, like we did in the beginning of this one. And, anyway, guys, before we get interrupted, I'm going to go and stop it. Bye!